What's up guys, iDevice Help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a quick rundown of iTunes 12, the new iTunes version released by Apple here on the third beta of Yosemite. As you can see, by first glance, the icon has completely changed. Even the color of the icon has changed. I guess that does make a little bit of sense since the icon for the music application on iOS devices is red. I guess that kind of goes along, but actually I find it hard finding iTunes sometimes now that the icon is red, believe it or not. Let's go ahead and jump into iTunes, which is what we're here to see. Uh, iTunes, once you log in or open the application, you get greeted with a brand new user interface. Now the user experience is basically the same, but the elements in iconography has changed a bit. As you can see here, you first get greeted with a brand new menu, no sidebar. I haven't seen the sidebar. I looked in the viewer option. Maybe Apple will bring back the sidebar in future updates, but for now, it's not available. But you do get the same menu here laid out. Very simple, very nice to use. Uh, you can see you got your music, movies, TV shows, apps, and any iOS device that's connected. And a menu to add any other toggles if you wish to do so. There it is. Uh, you can add music internet radio etc so let's go ahead and take a first look at the music section here uh, once you select an album you'll get greeted with a brand new user interface a nice layout where you can go ahead and rate the music start playlists start shuffling music very nice user interface very sleek kind of iOS 7 looking like but I do like what it looks like now also you also have your options for playlists iTunes matches also the option if you're a subscriber and of course you got your iTunes radio for you can create tons of music stations and start listening to music and of course the iTunes store so those are your options under the music section let's go ahead and jump into the movies uh, for the movies you also get the same kind of layout if you tap on a video you get the brand new user interface and menu where you can start videos and rate them and also create new playlists you also have my movies home videos playlist if you created any and also videos you can purchase from the iTunes store of course all the same options apply for TV shows just like in videos uh, also you have your App Store apps, which you can go ahead and sort by iPhone or iPad. Also, you have the list view. And also updates. If there's any updates, you can go ahead and update them through there. And of course, the iTunes App Store is also available through that section as well. Now, again, like I mentioned before, on this menu, you have extra toggles that you can enable, uh, such as podcasts, audiobooks, and, and you know things like that, internet radio. You can add those toggles to this menu section. But onto the iOS device section here. Uh, on the iOS device section, Again, the user experience is basically the same, but you do get a new layout, basically. Uh, but you do have the same options. You also have your update buttons, your restore buttons. You know, all the buttons just basically do the same functions, but with a different type of layout. And some of the iconography does look a little bit different. So you can see here is the iOS device summary. You get your information on your iOS device. You can restore, backup, do all the good stuff you used to do with previous versions of iTunes. If you go into the information section, you get, of course, more information. Then you have your app section where you can sync different applications to your device from iTunes and vice versa. Also, music, same thing. You can sync music between your device and iTunes as well. Same options for movies, TV shows. Now, on the top section here, you have your iTunes login and off section and also a search section to search your entire library in iTunes. But there you guys have it, a quick look at iTunes 12. Apple just made it available here for Yosemite. Once Apple releases the final version of Yosemite and all the new enhancements that the operating system will be offering, I'll be sure to make a video for you guys. But for now, leave a comment down below what you think. Are you using iTunes 12? Do you think Apple is going in the right direction? I'd like to hear your thoughts. So leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All the links will be down below. It's been iDevice, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.